Hello everyone, this is Mel XL and finally welcome to Just Cause 3. I have been really hyped for this game since this got announced in November 2014. Also I have been mainly following the coverage for this game, especially from E3 2015. When I see something promoting the game, I start getting quite excited for for with telling this next thing towards the new viewers who don't know about and with users who have been subscribed on here further for I have so much love for the Just Cause series game installment especially with Just Cause 2 and have videos from it before when I went to games that were automatically likeable towards me like Just Cause 2 which was few as others seemed for liked with being big and mainstream and gets popular for it. Just Cause 2 was what from the games that really reached out to my liking. I currently don't have a favourite game but Just Cause 2 has so far been the most passion I have had for a game. The gameplay features in Just Cause has the game this exciting with stuff such as actually being able for parachuting and skydiving and using the grappling hook for physically launching you to distances to aim towards with including moving vehicles and pay for a vehicle or stuff to deliver to your location by operating the market also the music playing in the game from Just Cause 2 sounds awesome listening with for the game was actually released a few weeks ago on the 1st of December yeah, I am playing it now as a first video of it which relates for the thing I now will talk about. I haven't had activity on my channel through the month of November and a part of December with this from taking me further to edit the transfusion video and then I discovered that where I got my gaming videos finalised from actually made them look staggery for video play quality except how the original format looks as smooth and clear and good capture. Some games suit the other display added because they match with them with the original looking like something else inside. But if for progress in my channel and have the videos the way to appear for then I needed to solve this for my channel and for my videos though it took me weeks doing this and though I eventually got the answer in a way I didn't expect I actually now have the opportunity to have my videos in a usual quality game standard. It then took me a further time to function the answer I found. My content was in this point supposed to be for November where my parts of content could be from but because of the situation that was going on it was on pause. I did want for input on my channel during finding an answer to this but my focus was needed to solve this thing out. I could have put this information in the trials fusion video but I thought of it being more decent for this video because I had done the trials fusion video earlier and this video is more recent. I actually got the game a day after the game's release day though I could only do a video for it when stuff has maintained. YouTuber Jacksepticeye had been doing stuff on Just Cause 3 because of the action stuff in the game linked for him. The Gaming Lemon did a video on this before I could which made me slightly jealous just for the upload but it's a new released action open world game that would get his attention and do a video for that is fair for this. I did see uploads from YouTubers playing this game earlier before the game released worldwide and then I found that was because they were given early access for the game by official source related on developing the game. I could have got that since I have a relation with Just Cause and like to it but probably not because not being recognisable enough on YouTube. I actually know things about Just Cause 3 from seeing the coverage of it and from at E3 2015 featuring a new usable item as a wingsuit siding with the parachute and grappling hook. 
the using of the wingsuit lets gliding through the air. Some structures on the map have increased depth which shows things like forwarded rock areas. There are online features for use of doing challenges for online leaderboard scoring. There's been no online open world roaming for the game yet, but there could be an online PC mod for enabling that as being officially established in Just Cause 2. For prone on a vehicle, you can move freely from it. I will pause listing things from Just Cause 3 because we can find the other features when playing the game. And here we've shown is Rico Rodriguez in Just Cause 3. And uh, from uh, what I saw on the cover, I thought it looked like he had orange tanned colour in his hair. But it's actually a brownish tanned hair with a, like an actual mix of dark and light brown, like in the middle of the colour brown, just like mine actually. He has quite a bit of a modern update in his style of clothing. I like that. He has wearing a blue leather sort of jacket, what it looks like, and a underneath I just remembered, and jeans. The grappling hook on his hand actually looks high tech. He's wearing fingerless leather gloves, and I think he may be wearing on one in his hand where his grappling hook is placed. And also adding with his shoes or like shoe boots or action boots because you can need the wear of like action footwear it comes very useful for like jumping onto vehicles or other things and the situation action sequences Rico has had a change from his hair colour in Just Cause the, like, the brightness has risen up and much of the stuff that Rico was wearing in Just Cause 2 was very leverish. But this shows a new cool update version of Rico in Just Cause 3. This time, it's the first time that Just Cause arrives with Just Cause 3 onto the 8th generation new gen on PS4, Xbox One, PC with those platforms. This time, in the setting, of Rico's actual self homeland of Medike, I like to pronounce a location, but officially it's called Medici, I've just heard, where it's just familiarly in the franchise uh, with each game. That in this one, there is a new dictator on his homeland. For this video, I want to thank Avalanche Studios and Square Enix who make Just Cause. And I've just loved the games, it's become a part of my gaming experience and being quite a fan of Just Cause itself, so thank you again, thank you. The developers of Avalanche Studios actually worked on an earlier thing this year as they were the official developers for the game recent movie adaptation of Mad Max as they put in what they had with experience of just cause with open worlds and they actually mixed in the feel of the actual movie of Mad Max and together that was awesome and it created a lot of showing of media attention and like with YouTube altogether really as YouTubers were playing it. I don't have many relation with the film franchise of Mad Max, but the work that Avalanche Studios actually put on that game and its release uh, was really good work, I think. But now here is the final thing that I've been mainly focused on of Avalanche Studios' final part of this year. It is Just Cause 3. I'm currently in a game mode location called Boom Island where at the start of the game you can roam around in exploring here while the game is downloading uh, so you can use this time to wait and it's actually a useful feature 
to have uh, for the beginning of the game. Though now in this time it is fully downloaded, uh, so we are ready to play now. We are about to play, so now let's play this. So I went into the game and began the introduction of the game with the story and then did a couple of the first missions in the game which with the cutscenes are very well developed. I like how they involve the cutscenes on Just Cause 3 in general coolness with also being on next gen but the quality of the game is good and with that you can see the expressions of Rico smiling and I've got into the characters but most of the time you probably be using the open world sandbox experience and not using just really the time mostly to go on the story of the game. During these missions I went on them and used it like the features like the crabbling because I moved around and was in locations, also got to use the wingsuit and using the parachute. This is also the time I've got the first feel of the gameplay and the actions like what I've experienced in Just Cause 2 is actually like beginning and playing the game again but as I was about to say and now I am, it's of the actions feeling more smoother. The controls you use are the same, just uh, though actually smoother or off replicating from Just Cause 2, but it's the same. So it's like getting used to the controls again for next gen. The graphics also simulates this sort of experience so far in the game for me. And. Oh, it was actually sort of in the evening when I started this talk part of the video after experiencing into the game for the first time, just to get to the open world feeling and that stuff. And we also can open the map. We also have the map here. So there's outpost, because we're playing just cause before is what a outpost is, is you do like action stuff there and eliminating objects and then you claim that land with a group or something like that and it's like a cool home ground sort of thing though you will probably do multiple outposts inputting into areas of medici and i'll say medike and now there's actually other modes on the map second menu thing so there's something called gear mods, I mean you can actually use this as modding to being things like upgrading actual uses. The next thing is leaderboards which I got very interested seeing from out of the four of these modes which are the online feature use in this game and I haven't actually done the online challenge things yet though. This is progress, uh, which I'm not sure about what it is yet, but this is like a record thing, so it details and statistics. Now let's go out there and play this, and so I was on from there, and the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to show you the how the wingsuit plays out when you use it. We're going to go to our high location where we can use this from, so we could do it from there, but that looks like a rival base, which it inputs some action you've got to get involved with. Actually, we could use that part over there. And then there's that part or this part here. Actually, that part over there would be really cool. I'm sort of adjusting to the controls by using them in the way of just cause to, but not to sort of simulate it like that. But it's actually 
as the player in Just Cause 3 as this is a new part experience for the next gen third installment after Just Cause 2. Wingsuit now commence. Gliding! Oh! And we actually dodged that thing. It's gone under the bridge and took the weeds. Now, this has a medium difficulty of controlling because it's like. It's easy, and then sometimes you take off control of. Oh. Control to. Controlling of your wingsuit gliding. These parts of the area here are like for the advertising thing and now I just spoiled a creature which in Just Cause 2 you can only get like animated on scorpions and probably other insects but now in Just Cause 3 you can get this nothing will happen to it I can just let this oh it's actually going on the road I'm gonna help protect it so you probably expect them to no don't Hey! Oi! I'm, I'm tracking that person down. Oh no, don't get. No, 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 no. Don't want their attention to be collected on. But then I'm gonna have to decide how I'm gonna treat this to the driver. They are eventually incoming on the driver now. This guy has just complained to me once, in Just Cause 2 though it would just be a few more. They actually complain to you like uh, again and again and again and it goes on. Have we got back on the driver's script? No. There's a citizen oh, here. You can't, you can't attack people like that. This might be trouble. Fair not. I like trouble. They do. They're actually leaving us alone. And wait. They're still not no. I'm going to link this car to another to this car. That sort of was weaker. Actually, that part there would be a perfect area for swing suiting. Another thing to notify from the experience I have got from this game has been Rico's voice uh, which is a bit more deeper from Just Cause 2 into Just Cause 3. It feels nice and calming and just cool in general with the cutscenes that actually feature stuff like smartphones as some guy was using this crazy it's really adapted into Mobile and for actual more millions of people who play the game to see on this game. I'm gonna put you with you. 
And oh, they're having trouble. Oh no. And we're gonna attach you. And this is something I use using also from out the this gameplay to now. When using oops, I need oh no 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 I, I was a mistake. You can actually attach multiple grabbling levers together. So like you can use it with a maximum of three probably or it it's one off of that. There's a ramp here. Actually, I have an idea because I need for heading somewhere we are actually going to use a helicopter to get them quicker probably. Can't actually see signs of the helicopter now. on the map for rem when I was removing stuff for access to unlocking stuff like a mission and some other stuff but the mission involves with vehicles which uh, we can do for the next part of the video and there's something else which I will reveal after we do the mission So, we are going to see what we're going to do with vehicles next. <laughs> this place is quite cool from the other part where we were in a town there. And uh, if you look on the map, then you will see that there's all this which I didn't realise until like some tens minutes ago that this map is uh, more of a scale than I thought and now I've realised it and I'm just showing you people I have recently done a mission that was simple because I had to transport a motorcycle to this location and then there was a learning part uh, where in Just Cause 2 this thing is named the something market where in Just Cause 3 it is called Rebel Drops. You can use this to uh, have uh, things like weapons and vehicles and other stuff delivered to a location of your choice then a helicopter will arrive there and drop the stuff off in that location for you to use so it's from Just Cause 2 that you actually use money to do this and cash though you actually use an object which I've now re remembered is called a beacon that you use for per delivery in just cause free which you don't have to pay for anything but you do have to have something to enable your delivery with that is what I've known 
about uh, the rebel drops so far as just a part of it. From a minute earlier from this point in the video was where I said that after the mission then we would do another sort of thing that would be particular for the video as I unlocked it with the previous mission I had but I wouldn't uh, reveal it until then like until after the mission so I can put it in the video. Also the stuff that I had delivered here as part of the beacon thing uh, was the rebel drop thing has disappeared since I went out of the session for a while. There was a helicopter and some weapons I got though I can deliver them back at some point for something. I can show you on the map over here that this is what I can do. So you can see through here as you haven't seen it before if you haven't that this even got shown at E3 2015 through the trailer which is similar to GTA 5's online presentation which in Just Cause 3 at E3 2015 showed this thing with the other things presented from the game and this is like challenges and uh, those sorts of things an additional experience which isn't really been done in Just Cause unless it's like races I've counted if they were from Just Cause 2. This thing looked fun and I know you. this will be an interesting addition to the videos so that's what we're going to try out. With this time this is actually going to be interesting stuff. So now we are going to go to here to do this. This is another thing to notify when while I was playing this game is the water is really cool as for next gen with the texture you can see but also with this aqua blue colour in the seas or the like wherever there's water. Another compliment to the game with well Another notification of the game is with uh, like the parachute has sort of had another f sort of version in Just Cause 3 but not different though the point of this is the turning if I do like a turn now you can do like quick turnings around things with, uh, because in Just Cause 2 you were like swaying like this and now like you can if you were like like drifting through town you can literally turn like this ah they got these wingsuit courses are amazing they'll sharpen your flying skills aguila we start challenge When we count down to zero, we will launch. Three, two, one, zero! Oh! Um, I've got out of the red circle, but I've got the white. Oh! See, my accuracy so far when zooming is a bit. I'll see but let's see how this goes. Oh no, come on. Yeah, I just remember I can speed up this. Here we are. We made it. We got there. We're gonna hit the umbrella. Oh. The finish saved us. The race finished there before going on longer further. Now that's a cool thing. We've uh, like we've unlocked a gear mod, which I guess is like an advancement in the uses you get for upgrades. You actually use the grappling hook, and then just like you're parachuting, though instead you actually start wingsuiting. That's how it looks on this presentation video. 
This one is called Steady Hand, which could be on increased accuracy of aiming. And now this sucks because I got wet in the water. This is acrobatic. I'm going to find a pool of water to clean up in. Now found a pool of water. Should be refreshing. That's from here for this upload with Just Cause 3. It's sort of cool with Square Enix of how they uh, the publish to games of not just. Uh, as of the Japanese uh, culturistic games and then they can go over to stuff of North America and the other territory sort of stuff and with action games uh, to link on connections with them and with Just Cause it's a big moment for a game that I really like to now be in the spotlight of a new worldwide release and having a lot of or well, sort of attention on YouTube and in the media and it, I even saw a TV spot advertisement and I just just incredibly got excited from the reaction of that and it's, it was cool to be in this moment and this month of that. And then I did a purpose with this video, but as an upload, it was actually like... I wanted to go to Just Cause 3 as it was out and I would be doing a video on it because I have that connection and I'm in relation with Just Cause with though of the commentating things that have ha been talking about and happening and the others and it probably being the fun play but then do you if you actually do stuff in the game then it does uh, can become a video and wondering if there might be another one on just cause 3 would be considerable because I might want to go back to this to do other stuff in it if I find other things to do. I also got a pre-order bonus of the guide to DK Medici pack thing with a weapon vehicles thing with three vehicles and I also got as a bonus the guide to Medike Medici map thing. I'm cool with the setting of just cause with hoping that with this then the LGBT rights are cool. Subscribe to me Mel XL if you want to follow my videos on YouTube. Like the video if you liked it. Thank you for watching and as always have a good one or have your one. Shake out. Yeah.